respected audience assalamu alaikum i am professor shamsul juman professor of pathology i welcome all in today's sixth lecture on systemic pathology today day 2 of diseases of small intestine day 2 of diseases of small intestine today's topic is carcinoid tumor day to of diseases of small intestine today's topic carcinoid tumor dear audience now come to what is carcinoid tumor it is a malignant tumor of neuroendocrine cells it is a malignant tumor of neuro endocrine cells you know neuro endocrine cells are the cells of apud cell system so it is a tumor of cells of apud cell system it is a tumor of apud amine precursor uptake decarboxylation tumor of apud cell system dear audience the carcinoid tumor cannot metastasize it is one of the locally malignant tumor it is a locally malignant tumor it is a locally malignant tumor so carcinoid tumor is a malignant tumor of neuroendocrine cells it is a tumor of apud cell system it is a locally malignant tumor it is called carcinoid dear audience you know carcinoma is the malignant tumor of epithelial cell or tissue carcinoid is not malignant tumor of epithelial cell or tissue the carcinoid tumor looks like carcinoma so it is called carcinoid you know structurally and functionally epithelium like chronic inflammatory cell is called epithelioid cell which one is modified macrophage it is not carcinoma because it does not arise from the epithelial tissue but it looks like carcinoma so it is called carcinoid dear audience now come to what are the sites of carcinoid tumor sites of carcinoid tumor common sites one is appendix especially the tip of appendix then terminal ilia if this is the terminal ilia this is the colon this is the cecum and this is the appendix so most commonly occur the tip of appendix and in the terminal part of the ilia less common site any part of gastrointestinal tract
lungs, liver, ovary, biliary tree. These are the less common site. Most common site is the tip of appendix and terminal ileum. Dear audience, now come to morphology of carcinoid tumor. Gross examination. Gross examination reveals submucosal elevated mass. Submucosal elevated mass. The mass may be round and plate like. Mass is round and plate like sometimes carcinoid tumor may be protruded type sometimes protruded type when it is protruded type the tumor may be ulcerated Tumor may be ulcerative. Dear audience, suppose this is the terminal ileum, this is the wall of the ileum, and this may be the carcinoid tumor, submucosal elevated mass, and this is the lining epithelium. So this is the carcinoid, carcinoid tumor. Sometimes it may be for to retire if this is the terminal ileum this is the protruded type of carcinoid when it is protruded type it may be ulcerative these are the characteristics of carcinoid tumor on gross examination now come to cut section Cut section of carcinoid tumor reveals yellowish mass. Reveals yellowish mass. Dear audience, now come to histopathology of carcinoid tumor. Histopathology of carcinoid tumor reveals round to oval cells with large hyperchromatic nucleus and granular cytoplasm and the cells are arranged as groups. Round to oval cells with large and hyperchromatic nucleus and granular cytoplasm cells are arranged as groups cells are arranged as groups so 
if these are the cells of carcinoid tumor round to oval These are the large hyperchromatic nucleus. and the cells containing granular cytoplasm. Cells are arranged as groups. So this is the histopathological findings of carcinoid. Round oval cell arranged as groups, nuclear the cell are hyperchromatic and cytoplasm is granular. Dear audience, now come to types of carcinoid tumor. Carcinoid tumor may be functional carcinoid and non-functional carcinoid tumor. It may be functional carcinoid tumor and non-functional carcinoid tumor. Carcinoid tumor may be functional carcinoid tumor and non-functional carcinoid tumor. Now come to functional carcinoid tumor. Functional carcinoid tumor means the carcinoid tumor that produces syndrome is known as functional carcinoid tumor. And the carcinoid tumor that does not produce syndrome is known as non-functional carcinoid tumor. Now come to some syndromes. Some syndromes produced by carcinoid tumor. Carcinoid syndrome, Jolinger Ellison syndrome, Jolinger Ellison syndrome. These syndromes are produced by functional carcinoid tumor. Now come to carcinoid syndrome. Carcinoid syndrome composed of some symptoms and it is found in functional carcinoid tumor. Symptoms are Symptoms are sudden flushing of the skin, asthma like which 
quaternary diarrhea vomiting etc these are the symptoms of carcinoid syndrome sudden flushing of the skin asthma like wheeze quaternary diarrhea profuse vomiting these are the symptoms of carcinoid syndrome dear audience now come to causes of carcinoid syndrome the syndrome is caused by serotonin that is 5 hydroxy tryptamine histamine bradycoinin calicrine prostaglandins etc carcinoid syndrome is caused by serotonin 5-HT, histamine, bradycoinin, calicrine, prostaglandins, etc. Dear audience, these are elaborated by carcinoid tumor. Elaborated by carcinoid tumor. That is, these are elaborated by functional carcinoid tumor. Among these, the potent agent is serotonin. Among these, the potent agent is serotonin. The potent agent is serotonin, which is elaborated by functional carcinoid tumor. Dear audience, now come to urinary findings of carcinoid syndrome. Urinary findings of carcinoid syndrome. Excess urinary excretion of 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid is the urinary findings of carcinoid syndrome. Excess urinary excretion of 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid, 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid is the urinary findings findings of carcinoid syndrome dear audience i have told you excess urinary excretion of 5 hydroxyindole acetic acid is the urinary findings of carcinoid syndrome. Dear audience, we know less than 1% dietary tryptophan amino acid is uptaken by our neuroendocrine cells in the body. Normally, in physiological condition, Normally, in physiological condition, less than 1% dietary amino acid tryptophan is uptaken by neuroendocrine cells. From the tryptophan, 
serotonin is synthesized from the tryptophan serotonin that is 5 ht is synthesized this serotonin is then metabolized in the liver and lungs serotonin is metabolized in liver and lung and the metabolic product is 5 hydroxyindole acetic acid that is excreted in urine excreted in urine again less than 1% dietary amino acid tryptophan is uptaken by neuroendocrine cells for synthesis of serotonin. This synthesized serotonin is metabolized in the lung and liver and there is product of 5-hydroxyindole acetic acid and this is excreted in urine normally. What happens in functional carcinoid tumor? In case of functional carcinoid tumor, tryptophan uptake is increased in functional carcinoid tumor. Excess uptake of amino acid tryptophan. uptake of amino acid tryptophan so there is excess production of serotonin by this functional carcinoid tumor excess production or excess synthesis of serotonin by functional carcinoid tumor as there is excess synthesis of serotonin by functional carcinoid tumor there will be excess production of 5 hydroxyindole acetic acid excess production of 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid as there is excess production of 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid there will be excess urinary excretion of 5 hydroxy indole acetic acid excess urinary excretion of 5 hydroxyindole acetic acid and this is the urinary findings in functional carcinoid tumor and this is the urinary findings of carcinoid syndrome. Beyond this, this is all about the carcinoid syndrome briefly. Now come to Zollinger Ellison syndrome. Jolinger Ellison syndrome is composed of composed of peptic ulcer disease diseases in duodenum in jejunum in ileum simultaneously so in case of jollinger ellison syndrome there is peptic ulcer diseases simultaneously in duodenum jejunum and ileum
गैस्ट्रिक हाइपर सिक्रेशन एंड देर इज ट्यूमर इन आईलेट्स ऑफ पेनक्रियस दैट इलाबोरेट्स गैस्ट्रीन and the tumor that elaborates gastrin in the eyelids of pancreas is known as gastrinoma it is known as gastrinoma so gastrinoma in pancreas in jollinger edison syndrome dear audience suppose this is the pancreas if there is gastrinoma like this gastrinoma it will elaborate gastrin and this gastrin acts upon the gastric glands acts upon gastric gland and there will be excess secretion of hydrochloric acid excess secretion of hydrochloric acid this is gastric hyper secretion and this hydrochloric acid causes peptic ulcer disease in the duodenum in the jejunum in the ileum simultaneously this is jollinger edison syndrome briefly dear audience today i have discussed briefly about the carcinoid tumor it is a locally malignant tumor that arises from the neuroendocrine cell that is that arises from the cells of apud cell system amine precursor uptake decarboxylation this tumor is not carcinoma because carcinoma means malignant tumor of epithelial tissue or cell carcinoid does not arises from the epithelium but it looks like carcinoma so it is called carcinoid common site is the tip of appendix terminal ileum less common site any part of gi tract lung liver biliary tree over the etc on gross examination it is an elevated submucosal mass it may be round and plaque like sometimes it is protruded type when it is protruded type it may be associated with the surface ulceration if we cut it cut section reveals yellowish mass and histopathology reveals groups of round or oval cells the cells with large hyperchromatic nucleus and granular cytoplasm there are two types of carcinoid one is functional carcinoid the carcinoid that produces syndrome is called functional carcinoid and that does not produce syndrome is known as non functional carcinoid the functional carcinoid may produce syndrome like carcinoid syndrome jollinger edison syndrome carcinoid syndrome is due to elaboration of serotonin histamine calicrine bradycarnine prostaglandins etc by the carcinoid tumor the potent agent causing carcinoid syndrome is serotonin and the syndrome composed of sudden flushing of skin watery diarrhea profuse vomiting asthma like wheeze these are due to the agents like serotonin histamine etc elaborated by the carcinoid tumor the urinary findings of carcinoid syndrome is the excess excretion of 5 hydroxyindole acetic acid in urine 
Dear audience, I have told you about the Jollinger Ellison syndrome. It is composed of 50 cancer diseases, dedulum, jejunum, and ileum simultaneously, gastric hypersecretion, and tumors in the eyelids of pancreas that is known as gastrinoma that elaborates gastrin. Due to elaboration of gastrin, there is excess secretion of hydrochloric acid from the oxidic cell of gastric gland, and this hydrochloric acid is associated with the peptic ulcer disease in the duodenum, jejunum, ileum simultaneously. Pterodians today up to this. Thanks all.